Moving on to the hydrogenation of alkenes and alkynes, what you can first notice is that this is a reduction reaction, and what that means is that the number of carbon to hydrogen bonds seen in our product will increase without an increase in the number of carbon to heteroatom bonds. And if we take a look at our products, what we can see is that the alkene double bond broke and was hydrogenated. And a final note to take down about hydrogenation is that it occurs in the presence of a metal catalyst such as palladium, platinum, or nickel. Turning our attention to hydrogenation of our alkyne molecule, what we'll see is that this reaction is very similar to the hydrogenation we just saw for an alkene. Our first step involves hydrogenation of our triple bond, and what occurs is we lose one pi bond in this hydrogenation reaction to generate this alkene, and in a subsequent hydrogenation, we'll generate the final product seen here. What is interesting about this hydrogenation reaction is that it occurs so fast that we cannot isolate this alkene intermediate. And the reason why we cannot isolate this alkene intermediate is because the metal catalysts are just too good at what they do. Organic chemists, however, are good at getting what they want and have found a way to isolate our alkene intermediate. We can do this by using a poison catalyst known as Lindler's catalyst, which halts the hydrogenation of our alkyne molecule at this alkene scene here. The one thing to note about Lindler's catalyst, however, is that it is stereoselective for formation of a cis alkene. 